Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Armando Sierra. In this video, I'm going to talk about something called rockitis. I don't know if uh, you've ever heard of the term. Um, some people who have lived here in Hawaii before and moved back to the mainland know what that term means, I'm pretty sure. But usually, um, you know, local guys, if they, they're born, they're raised in Hawaii, they usually, if they can find a good job, like they work for, like, let's say, Pearl Harbor or Public Work Center, PWC, or they go, uh, they work for the state or the county or whatever, city and county, usually if they can get a good job, they usually stay here, get married, have a family, and so forth. And usually, um, that's how it is. I mean, local people here, that's a life. You know, we, we usually, we look for a good job or we stay. A lot of times you will find people who have been with a job for like 20 years, up to 40 years before they retire. That's pretty common in Hawaii. That's a lot how local people are, you know. So, and another, another thing I want to bring up too is the fact that my brothers, I have two older brothers, and they live in Oregon. And every time, you know, my brothers used to tell me to go see my sister. I live in Mililani. My sister lives in Pololo, what, 20-something miles. And I used to say, no, oh, that's too far. And they said, what? You know, in the mainland, you know, I guess distance compared to what we, you know, far, what we consider far and what people on the mainland consider far are very, very different. You know, we don't, in Hawaii, you know, going more than 15 miles or, 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 or you know, going from, like I said, Mililani to Polo, that's too far. Or Mililani to Waikiki or whatever, that's far. You know, so it's kind of like, but in the mainland, you guys are used to driving long distances. You go travel, say, say from state to state. And uh, you go all over the place, but here you have because you have a lot more land, and you have a lot more uh, freedom. Well, I should say you have more distance to travel a lot of times to go to places. Here, um, we don't want to go too far. You know, my my shopping center is like three miles away, the town center. I don't want to go farther than that to go shopping. So we we're kind of spoiled here in uh, in paradise. And my brothers always laugh when I tell, oh, that's too far. They laugh at me. But the thing is this, getting back to the, um, what I mean by rock-itis. You know, people, a lot of uh, people from the mainland, they'll come here and they, they, they um, try to adapt to the local style of living, you know. And it's very expensive. Hawaii is not cheap. You know, milk is over seven bucks, and and you know, very expensive. Everything's expensive because everything has to be shipped here from the mainland. See, that's added costs onto you know already high prices. So we pay we pay for paradise. You know, you know, uh, and, and we're used to that. We're used to that from day one. You know, so that's how it is over here. But you know. People who come here from the mainland, like I said, they try to adapt. They try to, it's very hard because the rentals are very expensive. They're not cheap, you know. So they come here and they try to find a place to live. Maybe they, they room with several other people. And then they usually find whatever job they can get. Say, uh, as a, you know, a waiter or waitress in, in, in a restaurant or whatever, any job they can get. But you know, it's kind of rough for them to 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 make a living and to get their roots established over here. So a lot of people, getting back to what I was saying, a lot of people that come from the mainland uh, don't stay very long, and we call a lot of these people transplants. The transplants. Kauai has a lot of transplants. People come there, they stay for a while over here in Oahu. They come here. Uh, some of them even become homeless, and then they collect food stamps, uh, you know, 
Um, yeah, to collect food stamps or EBT, I get an EBT card. And, um, you know, get whatever government assistance they can. And they don't, they don't, uh, but then the majority of people that do come here, you know, they try to try to make it in paradise, but it's very, very hard. So what happens? So a lot of them, and, and because they're, say, in the mainland, they're used to going far distances. Like I said, my brother used to that, going traveling far distances. They used to traveling far distances and having a lot of places places to go. Well, those mainlanders that have been here for a while, they developed a, what's called rockitis. And rockitis means, they, you know, there's only so much space and so much area you can you can travel in. You know, we're in a we're in an island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. There ain't too much, you know. I mean, you can go neighbor islands and, and travel, but you know, there isn't too much space uh, to travel. And so, pretty much, if you're not, if you're used to like like I said, if you used to travel like my brothers now, you know, they live in Oregon and they they're used to that, so. To them, it's no big deal. And they laugh at me every time. Yeah, you're always complaining about going too far. And I, yeah, well, that's how we are. I was spoiled over here. So that's what rockitis means. Rockitis, a lot of people, they come here maybe two, three years, maybe even longer, maybe seven years or whatever. And then they go back. And they go back, so they go somewhere else. So you have a lot of people here for a while, stay here, for a while, and then they develop what's called rockitis. So rockitis, that's what it means. They get tired of this being on a rock, what they call a rock. They call it a rock. I don't call it a rock, but it's my home. But they call it a rock, and then they, they want to go someplace else, and they, they you know, that's what ha happens. So that's that's what I wanted to uh, talk about, you know. So, um in this uh, talk story session, it's, that's what happens a lot of people. Uh, you got a lot of people also, you know, local people, born and raised from small kid, Hanabara days, you know, they, they're here, but, you know, eventually they want to get a, maybe a better job, a cheaper house, or, or they go to the mainland. A lot of those don't come back. <laughs> they'll... they'll they say Hawaii is in their heart, and they love Hawaii and everything, and they consider themselves local from Hawaii, but uh, they go to wherever, you know, another state, maybe Texas, California, Washington. You know, there's a lot of people like that, local people. That's why you have a lot of local um, um, people or group Hawaiians or living in, in the West Coast, you know, living in. Washington, Seattle, uh, living in uh, Oregon, or California, or other states, you know, even on the, as far as the West, East Coast. So, because they can find better jobs, maybe better paying jobs, I should say, and then better, um, you know, the cost of living is not as high or ridiculous like it is here. But anyway, that's my mana'o on, on, uh, people that come here and stay for a while and leave and they develop what's called rockitis and they go back wherever they came from or go someplace else. Um, so I thought I'd share that with you in, in this video. Um, it's a very common thing, you know. Now this, this also one more thing I should mention is people say they get priced out of paradise. Well, you know, some people might feel that way, get priced out of paradise, but they're not even local to begin with. They weren't even born here. But they came here and they, they found out it's too expensive and they're priced out of paradise. Maybe they're not even local. But then you got local people too also who might have a tough time, you know, um, getting a job or truck, even with the job that they have, uh, finding a rental unit or whatever, end up houseless. And um, so they get what's called priced out of paradise. So, and th there's some people, there's, there's not a lot of people, but there's some people in that uh, category that uh, would be priced out of paradise. Well, you know, generally, most of the people here, local people, 
They know very well from the very beginning that, you know, they got to get a good ed education, number one. You know, so maybe the parents have money, they'll send them to a private school, maybe like Punahou or Yolani or whatever. Uh, I went to Kamehameha, but, you know, the, the, a lot of people will try to get good education so that they can get a good job, a good paying job, so that they can buy a home and raise a family. And we all know that in, in some small kid time, you know, that's, that's the goal and that's what we need to do. But like I said, my, um, a lot of people choose not to stay here and choose to find a better job or a better a cost of living elsewhere. So that's the reality of um, Hawaii. And um, anyway, I just hope you enjoyed uh, this video. and. My sharing my thoughts and my manao, as I always say, manao opinion uh, with you all. I hope you have a wonderful Aloha Friday today. Today's Aloha Friday. Take care of yourselves and cheer for the Rainbow Warriors tomorrow. Aloha. Aloha.